Well, children, when there is so much racket, there must be something out of kilter, I think. The disgrace of the Negroes of the South and the women of the North all talking about rights. White men will be in a fix pretty soon. But what's all this you're talking about? That man over there says that women need help getting into carriages and lifted over ditches and to have the best place everywhere. Nobody ever helped me into carriages or over mud puddles or even gave me any best place. Ain't I a woman? Look at me. Look at my arms. I could have pushed and planted and gathered in some ba barns and no man could head me. Ain't I a woman? I could work as much and eat as much as a man when I could get it and bear the lash as well. Ain't I a woman? I have born 13 children and seen them all sold into slavery. And when I cried out of mother's grief, none but Jesus heard me. Ain't I a woman? Then they talk about this thing in the head. What's it called again? Oh yeah, intellect. What's that got to do with a woman's rights or a Negro's rights? If my cup won't hold but a pint and yours holds a quart, wouldn't that mean not to let me have my little half measured full? Then that little man over there in the black, he said that women can't have as much right as men because Christ wasn't a woman. Where did Christ come from? From God and a woman. Man had nothing to do with him. If the first woman God ever created was strong enough to turn the world upside down all alone, these women together ought to be able to turn it back and get it right side up again. And now they're asking to do so, and the men better let them. Obliged to you for hearing me, and now old Sojourner ain't got nothing much.